Hi, this is Mrs. LaBarbera. Today's topics are scalar, vector, distance, displacement, speed, and velocity. The objectives for today is to know the definition of scalar and vector quantities, to understand the concept of distance, displacement, speed, and velocity, to be able to determine distance and displacement in a given situation with units, to calculate average speed and distance displacements those are the vocabularies of kinematics kinematics is a subtopic of mechanics Me mechanics is a study of the motion of objects kinematics describe the motion of objects because the motion of object has many parts now kinematics is only subtopic which is only describing the motion of the objects Scalars and vectors. In physics, all quantities are either scalars or vectors. Scalars are quantities that are fully described by magnitude only. Basically, magnitude just means how big it is. For example, 5 kilograms indicate how big the mass is. 3 meters indicate how big the distance is. 6 seconds indicate how long the time duration is. Now, vectors, on the other hand, has two parts has magnitude and a direction. So one part is how big it is, the other part is what direction it is pointing to. Example, three meters west. The magnitude of this quantity is three meters west is zero. Six meters per second south. Six meters per second indic indicate the magnitude. How big the velocity is and south is its direction. Distance is the scalar quantity that refers to how far or how much ground an object has covered during its motion. Its unit is meter, centimeter, millimeter, kilometer, etc. Displacement, on the other hand, is a vector quantity that refers to where or how far out of place an object is. It is the object's overall change in position. The displacement has the unit. It has the same unit as the distance. Now, the direction of displacement can be either positive or negative since we are only uh, doing one-dimensional motion. So usually, east is positive, west is negative. Similarly, north positive, south negative, up positive, down negative. Let's look at an example. Consider the motion depicted in a diagram below. A physics teacher walks 4 meters east, 2 meters south, 4 meters west and 2 meters north. The physics teacher has walked a total distance of 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 give you 12 meters. Her displacement is 0 meters because the teacher starts here and ends in the same place. There is no change in displacement. Another example. Use the diagram to determine the resulting displacement and the distance traveled by a skier during this 3 minutes. So the skier starts from A, come to B, and it at C, and finally, N at D. The total displacement is changing position. Start from A, N at D. So the total displacement is 140 meters east, according to compass rows. Distance is the ground has covered. So it's 40 plus 100 plus 40 plus 140 plus 100. So the distance is 420 meters. The graph below represents the displacement of an object moving a straight line as a function of time. What was the total distance and total displacement traveled by the object during 10 second interval? So according to this diagram, uh, the object to start at time equals to zero traveled eight meters. And looks over here, the object stopped then traveled another 8 meters to 16 meters, then traveled back another 8 meters. So the magnitude of displacement is, you start from 0, you end it at 8. The magnitude is 8 meters. What is the total distance? Total distance is ground covered. So you traveled 8, you traveled nothing, you traveled 8, and then you traveled another 8. So distance is 24 meters. Now the car is driven from Buffalo to Albany and on to New York City, as shown in the diagram. 
from Buffalo to Albany, come to New York City. So in this case, this from Buffalo to New York, this is the displacement and the distance is this. <clears throat> Compared to the magnitude of car's total displacement, the distance driven is longer. <clears throat> Velocity versus speed. Velocity is a change in displacement occurring over time. Over time means to divide time. Total displacement divided by total time. Its unit is derived. That means its combination of fundamental units, meters divided by second. Include both magnitude and direction. Since it has two parts, it's a vector quantity. Speed is changing distance over time. So distance divided by time. Its unit it has, the, it has the same unit as velocity, it's a derived unit. Include only magnitude, so it's a scalar quantity. Average velocity speed equation. So the average speed during the course of the motion is uh, using this formula. According to definition, is total distance divided by time. So in this equation, D represents total distance and T represents total time. Now, average velocity uh, is computed using the same formula. We have the same formula. This formula is the first equation on your reference table on page 6. So the two formulas represent different things. D in the distance formula represent, in the uh, speed formula, it D represents a total distance. In average velocity formula, D represents total displacement. And T is still the same total time. So direction of velocity is the same as the direction of motion. Where did you go? Did you go to north or south? So that's a direction of a velocity. If you went to the north, direction is north. If you're going south, direction is south. Let's take a look at an example. A car travels 90 meters due north in 15 seconds. Then the car turns around and travels 50 meters due south in 5 seconds. See, so in physics, a lot of times it's very helpful to draw a picture. So to draw a picture, this is where you start. You traveled up to the north 90 meters in 15 seconds. Then you turned around, you traveled 50 meters in 5 seconds. So you ended over here. So this is where you start, where you end. So that is the displacement. First, what is the average speed of the car during the 20 second interval? Average speed is total distance divided by total time. Total distance is 90 plus 50. Total time is 15 plus 5. So um, total average of speed is 140 meters divided by 20 seconds. So you have 7 meters per second. What is the magnitude of average velocity of the car during this 20 second interval? Average velocity is the total displacement over time. You, so you start from here, you end it over here. Total displacement over here is 40 meters. So it should give you 40 meters. You ended in north. So you start from here, you ended in north. So your average velocity is 2 meters per second north. The magnitude of velocity is 2 meters per second. Direction of the velocity is north. Use the diagram to determine the average speed and the average velocity of the skier during this three minutes. So this is uh, the diagram we have seen before. You start from A, come to B, go to C, end it at D. What is the average speed? Average speed is total distance divided by total time. So the distance we have seen before is 420 meters was the total time, three minutes. So you'll end up with 140 meters per minute. That is phi. That's a phi unit. You don't have to change it to meters per second. Average velocity, we use the same formula, except D represents displacement in this case. Displacement, we've seen before, is 140 meters. So it's 140 meters east divided by 3 minutes. So you have approximately 47 meters per minute. You are in the east direction. Next example. In a drill during basketball practice, a player runs the length of the 30 meter court and back. The player does this three times in 60 seconds. What is the average speed of the player during the drill? So again, like I said before, it's easy to draw a picture. 
if you have trouble. So here would be going back and forth, back and forth three times. So each back and forth should have 60 meters. So the total um, distance is 180 meters in 60 seconds. So your average speed is three meters per second. What is the average velocity of the player during the drill? Uh, average velocity is total displacement divided by time. The player start from here and end it in the same place. So displacement is zero. Therefore, average velocity is zero meters. I hope it helps. I'll see you next time.